Kingdom Bus. Yar, har, har, har. Kingdom is unavailable. So, I will introduce this episode. We're going to talk about picture graphs. Yar, har, har, har. Graphs, also known as picture graphs. Now, in this example here, Pirate Sam has three blocks, I have one block, and the Greater Gator has two blocks. Ooh. But down here, one block is four bedrooms. What? What's going on here? What the deuce? Okay, so this is a way to take numbers and make a picture to help us understand these numbers. That's what a picture graph is, or a pictograph. Three blocks, and each block represents four bedrooms. Wow, that means he's got a house with a lot of bedrooms. What's three fours? See, we have three blocks, and each block represents four bedrooms. So, Pirate Sam has three fours. That's right, three fours is 12. Just remember, three, four, so we have four, eight, 12. Okay, I have one block. One block is four bedrooms. One, four. That's, that's just four, see? One block, four bedrooms. My house has four bedrooms. Greater Gator has two blocks. Each block is four bedrooms. Two fours, that means two times four. What's two fours? Okay, you go four, eight, bada boom, bada bing, Bob's your uncle. Two fours is eight. In this example, the greater gator has 12 bedrooms. I have four and, did I say greater gator? Pirate Sam has 12 bedrooms. I have four bedrooms and the greater gator has eight bedrooms. So actually, Pirate Sam has the most and I have the least. His is greater, 12, and mine is the smallest, 4. Going to charge me and you, with my friend, Pirate Sam, who has the most shoes, or top hats, or kangaroos. Pictographs, they're on the list. Who's the oldest, who's the shortest, and who's the tallest? Watch out, here comes a greater gator! We have bears, and each bear represents five bears. What? Okay, well this is really a plastic toy bear. Let's see, this little toy bear is not a real bear, so we'll pretend that he represents five bears. And the same for the red one, the green one, and the yellow one. Each toy bear represents five bears. Pirate Sam has two of these toy bears. Two fives, because each bear each plastic bear represents five bears. Well, two fives, that's 10. Remember, this is really for second grade and even third grade students. So if you need some additional resources and help with multiplication or skip counting, we've got you covered. I have three bears, three fives. That's right, three fives, five, 10, 15. I have 15 bears. Meanwhile, the Greater Gator has two plastic bears. 
And each plastic bear is equal to five bears! Well, we already did it. Two by five, that's 10. Not 16, that's a sloppy looking zero. I need to fix that five. Looks like I have the most. I have 15 bears. And the Greater Gator and Pirate Sam, Greater Gator and Pirate Sam are tied for the least amount of bears. They both have 10 bears. But I have the most with 15. Let's look at this pictograph. Mega Kitty has seven pizzas. The Greater Gator has three pizzas. And the Green Beans has five pizzas. Meanwhile, the Avocado has four and a half of a pizza. We'll talk about that half in just a second. Each pizza feeds two people. But what is a half? At least once in a while, you can step outside and see half of a moon. Two equal parts that make a whole. Well, the half moon describes this half concept so perfectly, even in mathematics. When the avocado has four pizzas and half of a pizza, that means the avocado's pizzas can feed four twos plus one extra person. So that's four times two plus one because each pizza feeds two people. That's why the avocado's pizzas can feed nine people and the other ones are easy. Five times two, that's 10. Green beans serves 10. Greater Gator six and Mega Kitty 14 because Mega Kitty had seven pizzas and each feeds two people. So seven twos, 14. Here we have an example with triangles. Each triangle's worth 20 cents. One, two. That would be two dimes in the United States because a dime is worth 10 cents. Now, if the Pirate Sam, if Pirate Sam has one triangle, that's only worth 20 cents. I have no triangles. So that's zero, zero cents. And the Greater Gator, he has two of these triangles and each of them are 20 cents. So that means he has 40 cents worth of triangles. Two 20s or two times 20. That's 40 cents. Here you go, Greater Gator. One, two, three, four. The Greater Gator, he gets 40 cents worth of triangles because he has two triangles. Or I should say, his two triangles are worth 40 cents. If you liked learning about picture graphs, well, you should subscribe. Support this channel. We will do more math so that your youngin can learn every week at his or her pace. Arr, har, 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 har. See you next time. Okay, this one's really advanced. Pirate Sam, he has two bananas. I have one and a half bananas. Uh -huh. One and a half bananas. All right, we better start writing this down. One and a half. Look at that, half a banana. The greater gator has one, two, three bananas. Three bananas. And each banana is worth 50 cents. Well, it's real obvious already that the greater gator finally living up to his name. He has the most here. Yar, har, har, har. I have two bananas. That's right, Pirate Sam. So nice of you to drop by. Oh, you're most welcome. Yar, har, har, har. Each banana is worth 50 cents. Thanks, Pirate Sam. You're you're spot on again. Two quarters in the United States. Yar, har, har, har. That's 50 cents. Why is that, Pirate Sam? Well, each quarter is worth 25 cents. 25 and 25 give us 50. Yar, har, 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 har. Thanks, Pirate Sam. Okay, each banana is worth 25 cents. And the Greater Gator has three of them. Hmm, so three sets of 50 cents. I told you this was advanced. Whoa, we gotta be careful here. We don't wanna run out of room. Three sets of 50 cents, so that would be 50 cents and 50 cents and 50 cents. That would be $1.50. Yep, that checks out, because the dollar is four quarters. 100 cents. One dollar and fifty cents. One dollar and fifty cents. There we go. One dollar and fifty cents. 
I'll do mine last. Pirate Sam has two bananas, and each banana is worth... 50! 50 cents. He has two of them. So two times two. That would give us four quarters. Four quarters is the same thing as a dollar. That's a dollar. That's how much his two bananas are. One dollar. Two times 50 cents is equal to one dollar. That is the value of Pirate Sam's two bananas. Now, I have one and a half bananas. Hmm. One and a half. And they're 50 cents each. Well, what's half of a banana? This one's easy. We can do this. One banana. This is easy. One banana is worth 50 cents. Half of a banana. Well, what's half of 50 cents? Take your 50 cents and cut the value in half. Yeah! There you go. One quarter. That would be the value of half of a banana. So we have 50 cents and 25 cents. <gasps> 50 cents and 25 cents. That's 75 cents. Woo! 75 cents. And you could also write it with the dollar sign if you want, but I'm kind of running out of room here. Let's see if we can try. Oh, we gotta do it real carefully. Whew. Dollar sign, point 75 or 75 cents. This one, like I said, huh, this problem was advanced. Peanut butter.